All right, everyone. This is another episode of Bunker to Bunker podcast episode. I forget, but um, yeah, we have a special guest. Ethan is out, and I um, called in a ringer for uh, this podcast who I actually got to meet on site at the tour championship and we had a great time. So we have, um, tracking, tracking Hovland, um, here who is riding high from a big win. Um, <laughs> give me one word to describe your feeling right now. Um, just chills. If it had to be one <laughs> word chills, just, I honestly was fucking scared. Can I curse on this podcast? Yes. Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was fucking scared when Xander got it to three because nothing was dropping. He was playing well, yeah. putting it to like right. 10 to 13, 15 feet and making them. He was making them all week. That was just bread and butter. But he wasn't making them. And Xander was throwing it to fucking six feet, yeah, eight feet. And just and he made like one from, I forget how long, but he made a long one. And I was like, no way. But yeah, that was, I got nervous, but then Xander just started making pars. <clears throat> Victor grabbed one, they get it to four, and then he just stepped on them at 17 and 18 a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I mean, what, you know, Victor went 68, 64, 66, 63 to beat the top 30 players in the world at the FedEx Cup. You know, he went at... BMW, he shot the course record to win, to beat Scheffler and Fitzpatrick last week, and now this week he wins and fends off Xander, who's like Mr. Tour Championship, Mr. Eastlake. Um, but yeah, I was a little nervous too. Coming down, I had some money on it, so I was a little nervous. <laughs> um, it sucks because a lot of people on Twitter were saying like they wanted Z a lot of people were cheering for Xander to come back because they wanted to be you know, I don't, a little bit more special. But that, I'm it like, would have been a very no. cool story if he came back from six down shot. Yeah, he shot a 62 today. That like that's ridiculous. Or a 63. Like he played. Yeah, he, unreal golf. He wins. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was like it was just, those two were in a different stratosphere. It was just a different universe. It was literally just them as well. Um. Because Colin fell off. Well. Colin did not play well today. and He lipped out, I think I saw three times when I was at the gym. They had it on the TV, so I was watching it up yeah. there. And I watched him lip out twice within a 45-minute cardio oh, session. Yeah. So yeah. I, I he exactly. was not doing great. Um, yeah, he... He couldn't buy anything. Scheffler looked so defeated out there. He looked like he just wanted to get off the course as soon as possible and probably fly back to Texas and do whatever that's not golf. But he looked defeated. I, don't know I, was, his... well, I was uh, walking basically in the same in the pack with his wife up and down because uh, he was with Victor on Thursday. Yeah. That was the oh, day yeah, that's I was right, there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she's a nice lady. His wife, Meredith. Uh, shout out Meredith, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, he, after he dunked that ball on 15 on Thursday, he dejected. Oh yeah. And I have a friend who's a reporter for Norway, Norwegian yeah. papers. And obviously he didn't speak with Scotty, but he was in the same room doing the same thing just yeah. Victor and he just he came out and we spoke for a little bit after just because that we had, that was when we had time to catch up or whatever right um and he said he's rattled I'm yeah, like yeah. what do you mean by that he's like he's out he's Victor's got this if he makes birdies yeah like, really he's like yes he could see he was mad was one of the things he could he like emphasized but he also said like He's in his own head now. He does not oh, yeah. feel. And that's exactly how it played out. He started at 10 under. He finished at 11. That's it's not good. <laughs> yeah, especially on a course where, you know, it's just if you keep it straight off the fairway, you can make it. Uh, you can make a lot of berries. And Victor and Xander showed us that. But I kind of want to go through quickly our 
you know, we were both on site. So Wednesday practice round, we're both walking with him. And I remember, I don't know what hole it was, but I just remember we were walking and um, he was hitting every fairway and every green, putting him with what, within like, what you want to say, like 15, 10 feet, like almost every time. Like I was just like, he's going to, I I think, I, I don't know what hole it was, but I remember you looked over at me. I think it was like, like four. Dude, <laughs> like, and you're like, dude, like he's going to win this thing. And then I was like, I'm a better. And I was kind of just like, I'm in Atlanta. You can't bet in Atlanta in Georgia. So I'm like, Oh, I'm, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't need some action, whatever. But then when, when we're on four and, and like, we look to each other and you're like, dude, like he's going to win. And like, I saw like the smile on your face. And I was like, <laughs> shoot, like I, I might have to call my brother and put some bucks on it. But what did you see in the practice round that made you really feel besides what I said, maybe some other things that you were like, this is like, this is real. And like, you're, you're pretty glad that you flew out last minute oh, to see at least, you know, amazing. Wednesday and Thursday. So give Absolutely me some of your amazing. thoughts on Wednesday. Uh, hold on one second. <clears throat> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I make old person noises. It's okay. Um, <laughs> it was just the way he was hitting his irons. It was unreal. He, I think he barely missed one fairway. Yeah. He was in the French. He wasn't in mm-hmm. the rough. He was in the French. And that was the extent of his problems. He put one in the bunker on a par three. I forget which one. Not two, but I forget which one of them. Yeah. And that was just because his first tee shot went to like eight feet. Yeah. So he wanted exactly. to see what happened if he clubbed down because it went eight feet, but it went eight feet past. And it kind of <laughs> came back and like, Right. He was he was like, Okay, let's see what happens if I do if I come down a club and then he came up well short in the bunker and he was like, All right, I got like I got the club, did some bunker work. And it was also the way he was just preparing too. He had had like five, six coaches out there with him oh, yeah. alone. Like he was fully like locked in in so was scotty so was like even like down to like jordan ricky sanjay um tony everybody that i saw um yeah it it was impressive but i never i never see stuff like that like you see practice round stuff get posted every now and then by the tour yeah he had every single coach down to his strength and conditioning coach with him watching his every move and like dialing in the littlest of things to some big things and like even to add on to why i was like this kid when the lag putty was so good they were throwing down the little circles to stimulate simulate what the holes were gonna be or could they yeah and it was just from wherever he was getting to three feet and it was just like that's going in it's three feet. He hits it hard anyway. It's it. Yeah, I mean, he... At one point, I think... I, I don't think he missed a putt within, like, five feet. Maybe, like, five, eight feet. Like, I don't think he missed one all week. And I don't think so either. I don't remember tweeting anything like, like that. I would be I, very Yeah, upset. I remember... I think Nance said it at maybe on, like, the back nine on, like, one of those. But, yeah, it's crazy. It was Jim cool Mance to see him... Yeah, I know, but it was like it was cool because like there weren't many people out there. Walk, like it was just us and like some other like, casual fans. Like we were definitely like, the most like golf nerdy out of everyone besides like oh, his yeah. team, obviously. And like oh, we're yeah, just walking, and you just see it's just it was just different. It was probably like I thought that was the coolest moment I think throughout the week. Even if Holland didn't win, I think that's like, the coolest moment. Just watching someone of his nature go around. You can hear what he says like his caddy, basically. You know, like we're like we're there you know basically like basically walking with him honestly you know yeah during the press round and you just saw it's not loud and how see and hear like the oh yeah stuff so just seeing how he was throwing stuff down just like all right now you're over here chip this and he was chipping yeah so good when he chunked that ball today and he had 15 or no he had like 25 feet for bogey i was just like fuck xander has a great look at birdie this is yeah bad and then not only did he trail it from 25 feet i jumped up from my couch i was so excited and um, then he did a 
I mean, he did a little tiger fist pump too. Oh my God. That was so electric. He never shows emotion like that. And he even spoke about it in his post, uh, his interview post round. He said something along the lines of like, I try to keep everything inside. I try to look yeah. stoic. Like I try to not let my emotions take over any part of my game. And just seeing that out of him, like I've seen the big ones after wins and little ones after a good birdie. Yeah. Nice 15 footer left to right. Good birdie. That's like nice little ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just like a, it wasn't just like a, like this. It was like a, it was a a full body, you know? Oh, yeah. He was, oh, yeah. He was. He was fired up. Yeah. And, and then Xander missed anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was probably it. Point. That's the dagger. Because Xander couldn't screw up. And then Hovland, you know, Xander's probably thinking in his head, like, okay, he's going to drop one. This is my chance to kind of keep bouncing. And Hovland does that. The crowd's with him. So that was good. But I want to also ask Honestly, one a good question. amount of people were rooting for Xander just because, like, people love oh, yeah. the comeback story. I saw a lot of that. Shout out to my boy Xander Legion. He's a really good. Yeah, I, yeah, no. I know Xander. Him. I know him. I know him well. He's good at Twitter. Follow oh yeah, him. I mean I follow all those accounts. And, yeah, they're all, they're all good. But also, fun question is, um, you got your picture at the end of the practice round. You know, a year basically. You know, BMW was last year. This year got that. Zan, you know, the Hovland picture, you showed him the Twitter account and he loved it. I saw the smile on his face and I don't know if you noticed, but like when other people asked for selfies, he gave them like a straight face. And then when, when he took a picture a of comment. you, he gave you like a huge smile. So I don't know if you yeah. noticed that, but um, I, did. I noticed Someone, that. I was two, like, people made com- two people made comments to me. Someone yeah. before me who took a picture with him was like, he gave you a huge smile. And then, yeah. And I was like, yeah, well, like, I mean, he's like, yeah, he all, he all he does is smile. Why wouldn't he? They didn't show me <laughs> anything, but they didn't show, yeah, they didn't show me anything. But yeah, someone after came up to me and he was, they were like, wow, that was the biggest smile I saw on him for any selfie he took. I'm like, what? no, he's <laughs> yeah. this, not biggest only. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, he didn't. He was just giving people straight faces to all the pictures, even my son. And he showed me a picture of him with his son. He was just like, "Yeah, but yeah." He, after I showed him the account the second time, he remembered who I was, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, what's up?" We did the. Yeah, thing. It, it probably and... it probably feels good for him because I feel like when you're not a like American, it's like harder. You know, there's bigger crowds, and like obviously, you know, there's people that are there just to take pictures with any player that they can get. Yeah. But when you see someone that uh, you know has your you know has his support regardless of where you're from, you're just there because you're a fan of him and on the course and off the course too. Because you know Hovland's probably one of the best. You know, a better. You know, me. You know, he's a great person too. Um, and you kind of yeah. see that with the stature. And he's definitely probably this year. I think. I think the broadcast was saying how like he really. And I think the caddy said it after too. Um, about like his course management, how like he had to learn how to go around the course. Obviously, he's talented, but he had to tweak some things with his course management. And then what wins three times this year and has twenty, <laughs> a little over twenty twenty million dollars now. So. Four times. Four oh, times. Yeah. yeah. I put, hero. Oh, Mo- oh, yeah. Hero Memorial Beamer this week. And I bet three of those too. I had him at Memorial. BMW, so I'm coming for that job for tracking Hoblin. But um, talk about talk about thir- like your um, your the Thursday round specifically. You know, you were oh, you know, it was so him and Scotty fucking hot outside. Oh, that's the first thing I have to say is that I was dying. Yes, <laughs> like I believe there's like a silly burn on my arm still, <laughs> and there's just nothing on this side doing like just like my this half got burned and yeah it was just really cool i was i stayed with him the whole time but i was there early of course so i followed yeah. uh i wanted to follow sunjay so i followed sunjay and tony for a couple holes and then i made my way back to one because i was starting to get pretty far away from one 
And then I kind of parked myself, watched tee shots. I was on yeah. Max, Rory, yada, yada, Harmon, like Clark or Harmon, whoever's up there for no reason. And it's going <laughs> to cost them the Ryder Cup. I'm not even throwing shade. It's just there are better players that could be picked. Oh, yeah. And they're ne- neither of them are really in form anymore. Clark, I, yeah. Wind, Windy played great today. Actually, Windy finished solo four. Yeah, yeah. I saw him. I don't, he shot. I'm, I'm not sure. Fifteen. Yeah, I'm not sure where he finished that, but I saw him. Like, I think he was solo third at one point when I was when I had the broadcast on when and stuff. But um, yeah, we he can get into a little day. bit more. He had a good up. day. Yeah, uh, I mean, oh, I just typed in PGA Championship because I am brain dead. I want to see it. Too high off uh, Victor Hovland. Yeah, let's call it that. <laughs> yeah, Wyndham finished solo third. Shot a 500 today. It's a lot oh, of money. Gonna turn off. No, I'm not going to turn off my ad block. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of money that he he won today shooting five under. I'm not sure what the payouts besides Victor were, but um, eighteen million dollars. Yeah, did you Insane. um? Yeah, eighteen million dollars, and Victor decided to get some Chipotle. Did you see that whole like video? Yeah, someone gave him uh the chips on the um, someone gave him the chips on the yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, that was a funny that that was a funny moment. Um. And so if I, yeah, I, I'm sure you heard the caddy after the round and um, Knight said that he was like so proud of Hovland. And I thought that was so genuine from what he, like when he said that, like, I think it's so cool to see like a caddy really care about a player with their golf and in like their personal life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I feel They've like. They've been together since he turned pro. Yeah, exactly. So, so he's like, really seen, like, seen him grow up over the past three so years yeah. going from. It's cool. It's um, you know, he's. I'm sure they'll they'll obviously win more in the years come by. But you brought up the Ryder Cup, and I wanted to just, the start with you know specifically Victor. Like, who would you like to see Victor pair up with? Um, like, who do you think someone that would be good with him in Rome? Um, I saw Fitzpatrick stayed after uh, and uh, yeah, dabbed him up. I like that. Yeah. I like, like the young that. guys. I really so, like that, especially yeah. the way Matt's been playing, and he's kind of he's gr- he's good off the tee. He's long, so when he's hitting yeah. fairways, he's like he's longer than Victor. He's like, at least he's got him by at least twenty yards, um, but he does not hit them a lot. So Victor's tee shots, their irons combined, their putting is both okay. Victor's putting yeah. was ridiculous the past two weeks. I do not expect that to stay the norm. I don't believe, besides Tiger, nothing in recent memory comes to mind where a player has just been a consistently great yeah. putter. And Wyndham so got $5 million for third. Yeah. Big money. I mean, Wendy. Yeah. I mean, that would be cool with Fitzpatrick and Hovland, especially if they're trying to, you know, I guess – those two are the big names, like the young guns, I guess, of Europe besides, you know, you got, you know, you got like the Rory and Rom and stuff. But I think, you know, he's in form. I mean, I guess the knock that he always gets that he hasn't, I don't think he's got a point in the Ryder Cup. He's been, in, he I think, two. One. He has one. Yes. That's so a not a great record, but, you know, he's a completely different player now. So I, you know, when I'm looking at the Ryder Cup, I'm not, I'm not even looking at that, you know, He's so much no, better than he he's was. He's a completely and, different and, player. Yeah, exactly. And, and the and, USA needs to get Sam Burns on that team. If they didn't pick him, that's a disgrace. He is such a good match play player. He played so well at the Dell. I believe he won it. He won it. And yeah. I believe he always came in second last year. I. He's really, really good at that kind of like. Oh, and, yeah. and he's best friends with Scotty Scheffler off the course. So put that together. Let Sam putt. That's the best player in the world, probably right now. Yeah, and also, Bur- well, Burns carried Scotty at the Presidents Cup. Correct. Like they 
as a team, they didn't play well because Burns had to carry Scotty. And I think they like lost. So like, I think Tom Kim might have beat them when Tom yeah, Kim that got was hot the, and I think it was Tom took over. Sibu. Yeah. Um, Sanjay was off the green. I remember yeah. that video when he made the putt. Oh, yeah. I think it was Tom, yeah. I think it was Tom and Siwoo. Yeah. So you said Burns. Who are your other five before we uh, before we hop off? My other five? They, yeah. Let me pull it out for a second. Of, of, of who you would take, not if you're Zach Johnson. Like, who, who Tracking Hovland will take? Right now, because I think the calls, I mean, it comes out Tuesday morning for America. Yes, I'm sure Zach will call them tomorrow. <clears throat> so I'm looking at, uh, I'm, so I'm looking at this list right now. Like yeah. I said, I'm taking Sam Burns. I'm taking Colin Morikawa. I'm taking Jordan Speed. That's three. I'm taking Keegan. Um, Fowler, sure. Yeah. That's two more. I mean, give me Russell Henley. And oh, I do not want to give it to him. Or him. Oh, yeah, Brooks. I don't think I said Brooks. Brooks, yes. Duh. Did you see what his wife put out on social media? Yeah. <laughs> They're fucking around, but... Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, on, yeah. he's they're fucking around, but he's on the team. There's if he doesn't pick him, there's actually going to be, like, it's going to be bad. Now let me do. Let me see Europe. Yeah, the Europe is wonky because I don't think they. Yeah, because of I'm not who sure. I think they had a they had like some tournament this week that was pretty big. Yes, they did. I know, like one of the Holy Guards was in it. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, Raz, they they both played them, but one is better than the other, even though they're both pretty good. Raz yeah. is the good player, so it's going to be Rory, Rom, Victor, um, Tommy, Tyrrell, <clears throat> and if points say the same, if Paul, Yannick, Paul, Adrian, Morong don't win this week. Robert McIntyre is also a lock. So there's the yeah. six. I'm taking Paul, Yannick Paul anyway. I'm taking Adrian Morong. Yeah, Morong um, won, I think, at Marcus Simone before. He's won a few times, yeah. And he's won a few times this year. I mean, by that. Uh, Tommy. Oh, yeah, Tommy's auto. I'm taking Matt Fitzpatrick. I'm taking Seb Straka. I'm taking yeah. Justin Rose. Yeah. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four. Five. I have one more European to pick. I agree with all those as of now. Let's get uh let me be uh let me be Aberg? annoying. Let me get let me be annoying. Give me Ludwig, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I, the, the like Europeans love to take those like young kids. I mean Fitzpatrick and Peters went to Hazeltine in twenty sixteen when they were like twenty and then Hovland when you know he was younger, but you know, he's a little bit older than Fitzpatrick. And Peters when they were on the team at the time, but yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, those captains pick comes out Tuesday morning, I believe, on Golf Channel. But um, yeah, uh, you know, that was a little quick recap. Any final thoughts um, um, for today and going into the next month? What do you got? Victor is not playing for about five weeks. He's playing the Ryder Cup. Oh no, he's. I think he has, he's playing the BMW something on DP World Tour. Okay. Within the, within the next five weeks, playing the Ryder Cup, then he's taking five weeks off. So that's his schedule. Yeah. Um, and he's the best player on the planet right now. There's nothing else. There's nothing else to say. He's hitting it just as well off the tee as Scheffler, not as long, but whatever. He's hitting it. It's irons. Just as good as Scheffler, probably a little worse, but that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, chipping it far better than any him, and chipping it and putting it. <laughs> he was one in the field and putting this week, and Scheffler is like a hundred and so it was not a hundred. There was thirty people, last. But... Yeah, I mean Hovland had ten point seven two tee green, and then around three and a half putting. So 
um, dominant when he moves to fourth in the OWGR. Finally. Um, if that means anything, really, at this it, point, I don't think. It, it does, because he's been behind Cantley for so long. Yeah. He's been be- playing better than Cantley literally since last year's playoffs. Like He played better than him all season long, was finishing higher, was winning tournaments. Patrick, I don't think he won anything this year. Um, could be mistaken, but I don't think he won anything. I know he lost in a playoff to someone maybe this that last year. I don't know. Who cares? It's Patrick yeah. Cantley. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so finally getting over that little hump was good. And now he's officially in the mix in that little uh, – there's the top three. Hey, hey look who's uh, winning all the time. Look who's putting it better than you guys. Look who's hitting it better than you guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think any of those guys are surprised. Obviously, Rory and Rom, you know, know him well with, you know, the – Ryder Cup and stuff, but yeah, it's happy to. I'm, ha- I'm happy to see it. Um, it's been a long time coming, and yeah, hopefully, you know, I'll be cheering for Hovland and the Ryder Cup. I don't want. I also want us, the United States, to win. And um, I don't know. You know who I, I'm I, I was looking at the P- my rooting for yet. <laughs> I was looking at the PGA I need to see who he picks venue next year, and it sets up well for him. I'll say that. That's what I've been yeah. hearing as well. And um, I have a buddy who works at Valhalla as a caddy, and he said he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> this is this is him." Oak Hill was him too, but he hit that shot on sixteen, and shit happens. Yeah, I mean, every player have had that. You know, how many times has Rory done that in the last two years? <laughs> Harmon you know? did it earlier in the day. Yeah. So, but appreciate your time tracking Hovland. That's what I'll call you forever. Um, it was a fun. It was fun meeting you Wednesday and Thursday. Yes, Blast it, was, connect. it was great. Glad we got. You know, we were on site for his win. You know, maybe not That's all days, right. but we. But well, we saw him grind out there, and uh, it was pretty mm-hmm. rewarding to see that picture of him. Of that, you know, both of you have that huge smile on your face <laughs> when you guys met. So appreciate your time, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll stay in touch. We'll stay in touch. Be well. Right. See ya. See ya.